So today we want to take a closer look at Webador and see what it can do for us. It's a website builder and I made a couple of tutorials for this and now I want to tell you how my experience was with Webador. Let's dive in and before we start you will find the link to Webador below this video in the video description and if you click on it you will get a free trial and at the same time you're supporting me and my channel so I can do a lot more videos for you guys. So thank you a lot if you use my link you will find it right in the description. And once you do that, you will land on this page here and you can sign up here. But before we do so, let's take a look at the pricing because I think that's the main advantage of Webador because the pricing is very competitive. So you have three different prices. You can start for free and then you have a light plan. And for $4.50, you get your free domain here. So you can already have a working website under your own domain below $5. So that's quite cheap. Cheap. And if you want to upgrade, you will land on the pro plan and here it will cost you roughly eight to ten dollars depending on the region where you're based here in Europe. It's eight point fifty per month and they have a deal going. So no matter what plan you choose, you will get the first six months for free entirely and you only pay for the second half of the year. So that's quite nice. And in the pro plan, you also get a free domain and you get a mailbox. So you get your professional email address and so people can contact you and you don't need to use your Gmail email address anymore. And with a business plan, you can upgrade and you get an extra large mailbox. So you get, I think, 10 GB. Yeah, you get 10 GB uh, capacity on your mailbox. But the main difference between the business and the pro plan is the online store. So because here in the pro plan, you get 10 products, but if you need more, you need to upgrade to the business plan. Then you have unlimited store capacity and you can also sell digital products and services because that's not possible in the pro plan. So as you can see, the main difference is the mailbox and the online shop functionality. So feel free to choose any plan if you want already, uh, but you can also start for free and then you just click get started and then you can choose which kind of website online store or blog you want to do and then you can click continue but now let's take a closer look inside to be honest uh, it's a very very basic website builder there are definitely more complicated website builder out there like squarespace wix shopify but you do get a very basic website with webador so and it's quite easy to change so definitely a good website builder for beginners because everything is stacked on top of each other in sections so you have sections and you can just add new sections to your site and they have a lot of different templates for an about section for a service section for products promotions pricing pages here people so if you want to introduce your team this will look like this. You can add testimonials and of course some basic contact sections with um, Google Maps and a contact form. So all basic functionalities are supported with Webador and they also have a new app market or an app integration so you can just drag it in and then you can also connect your Instagram account and upload your photos and videos connect your Facebook Spotify Google Drive even Airbnb Calendly TikTok YouTube and you can also use GoFundMe to encourage donations on your website so this is pretty cool that they have integrated this so you can connect with the major platforms out there and yeah you can add as many pages to your website and it's very straightforward you can just add here pages and then ex add an extra page to your website and they don't really have much page templates but you can simply just put together a page with title text images videos by yourself it's quite quickly you don't need more than i don't know two minutes to set this up and then of course you need to make it your own and the customization functionality is kind of limited with webador because we can't move the image around for example with website builders like wix and squarespace you have website builders like they call it what you see is what you get so you can really drag pictures images and buttons around but here with webador you're kind of limited of course you can align the button on the left in the middle and on the right but you can't move it around freely so that's kind of a bummer but it's also okay because it makes it very convenient and very easy to understand for beginners and yeah you can just stack content on top of each other and you will get a website 
but of course it's not very customizable with Ed, uh, with Webador. Yeah, but you do have a lot of different design options, which I like because they give you different templates. So this is the basic template where everyone will land on, but you can also just change it to this one, for example. And if we go to, let's go to the homepage and then to designs again, because this will look way cooler. Yeah, now you have changed the design of your entire site and it will look completely different with different colors and you can also adapt the colors here and choose different accent colors. But I do like the capability that you can change the entire look and feel of the website with a click of a button. So you can just jump around between these templates and they have a lot of them. So you can see I can scroll down quite a lot and every template will give your website a fresh look and some different colors. So I think they did a pretty good job on the design sections on different template designs. That's nice. And you can also have a basic online store. I also made a video about that. So you can connect payment methods like Stripe and PayPal. You can upload your own products, have your shipping information, and you can also under shipping print your own shipping labels. So that's all included and you will see your orders inside Webador and also your customers and you can yeah just fulfill your orders from within webador so that's quite nice too this was the editor of webador and it, as I told you it's quite basic, so you can just drag a title in, drag a text in, and drag an image below the text, and then edit this, upload your own images. You can also choose from different stock photos. They have over 2 million stock photos available for you, and they're for free, and you can use them. And these templates are a little bit customized already for you, and you can just add them to your site. Yeah, this doesn't make sense, so I will just delete it. But now you get a good feel on how it looks and how it will move and behave once you're in there. And as said, you can't really change the position freely on the on the canvas. But I think for beginners, this is quite good because you don't get distracted by too many options. Yeah, this is Webador. Uh, I do like it for beginners, but I also have different homepage builders here on my website. I'm actually a big fan of Wix because Wix has the most functionality. So you can also build an online store and it's a true what you see is what you get website builder. So you can move around every element and you can also sell your own online courses and your own services via the website. So my own website, julianweber.com is built with Wix but it's a little bit more complicated. But there's also, for example, Shopify for online stores. Yeah, I will just link all of these down in the description of this video. Feel free to go and check this out. Uh, but Webador is good for beginners. If you start with your very first website, I think it's a good option to get used to it and you can try it out for free. So there's not really a risk to it. Thank you a lot for listening. Please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it if someone else wants to build their website and we see us in the next video. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and here you can find the full tutorial on Webador.